Hey guys, it's Sini Chan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day and you're enjoying your time here with everyone else. Today what we're gonna be doing is Catch You Catch Me from Card Sapta Sakura. It's a really fun song, at least the person I follow. It's a fun song, beginner friendly. There's not too much jumping or moving around. It's simple moves. Some moves may be fast in there, but not too, too fast. And they're like the, the versus chill, chorus, pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave the video I followed down in the description. There's two of them. There's the one I was sent for the request, so I use that for details. But then that one doesn't have full body. She usually cuts off like her legs and then just shows the upper part. Then so I have to go look for another video for just the full shot to figure out what the legs might be doing. So I'll have both of them down below. The second video, the full shot might not be exact the exact same move since they do change up some details on there. But you can check them out. Do which I know whichever one you feel it's nice. Yeah. Enough of me rambling. Let's get ready, get stretched, warmed up, and let's begin the tutorial. Alright, so for this dance, you're not gonna start center right away. You're gonna be off screen somewhere if you're filming you're completely off the screen or if you're in the audience you just walk into center and for the first eight counts you just walk in you'll be just going one two three four five six so by five six you just take three steps and you walk forward so not too too bad so it's just one two uh, as you're walking you're also just looking forward for one, two, three, four. And then from here, you can realize there's people in front of you. So you look to the front and you're like, oh, hello. And that's when you're starting to stop walking to go to the next move. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're just gonna place your hands up here for seven, eight. So uh, nothing here happens different. So we get seven, eight, place your hands. And then I'm gonna do the next count over. Then we can repeat those two counts together. So here on seven, eight, on one, two, you're gonna lean, leave your hands on here and bring your head and chest forward. Like one, two, it's like you're, you're pecking something with your chin but you don't want to leave your hands <laughs> hopefully i've explained this i may not be doing this correctly but it's it just like bop bop and then come back up so one two three four and on three four you don't need to keep your hands back here as you come down you can put she puts them down here i believe you can do anything you can go like this you can go like this you can leave them up here if you want but no matter i'll be going one turn and three four just drop in this hand here loosely not like straight over here but kind of to my side here but it'll be one two three four and then five six you're gonna take the time to step and face forward since the whole time you were facing more 90 and then 45 ish when you got into this pose instead of looking forward so that so we'll be facing a straight forward foot three four five six facing forward and then from six seven eight or oh, pretty much from five to eight you have shall we say from six you have some time since you go five six and then seven eight you have some time to just go seven eight and jump around on here so the jump is going clockwise so towards your right on here and you just finish this for your five you can start jumping to six seven eight to do 
three jumps, which I think is what she does. Or you can take two steps and then make two big jumps. I think the three jumps is better, so you take one step for five and then you go six, seven, eight. And as you jump, you can leave your arms here. Even though we dropped here, we can just have the arms here by your side. Kind of helps with the next move. Well, yeah, those are the first two eight counts. So let's start from the beginning and then go all the way to the end of this eight count and then we finish up the intro since it's pretty short and then we go to the verse. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My own one, after you do the five, six, seven, eight, I jump in six, seven, eight. One, you're gonna jump towards the right side. So you're gonna jump to the right and kind of do this skipping motion. So you jump, jump. This is gonna be just for two steps. While we finish eight, we're gonna go one. So as we jump to the right, our arms are gonna come cross and then open up like a all of them going in use so be one two I mean not too bad so it's like one two and then you repeat the same thing three four be one two three four and then to finish it off from here it's pretty simple on five you're gonna step out with your right leg lean your hip out a bit and at the same time place your hand your left right hand to the side this it's like you know this move in both videos they do it differently the video that i said i followed i think this is the one move i changed she does same hand same leg which to me seems weird the other video does opposite hands opposite leg which i like more on there but i don't know which one's the right one so i just change that move for her but yeah this was five six so you just step right left and you do that with your hands and then you're gonna spin your hands seven eight so all together that count will be just five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven so not too bad, just jump, jump, step, step, turn your arms inwards, and so over here, you turn them actually outwards, and then you stop them here. For set seven, eight. Let's do it one more time and then we'll move on. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, for the next count, we ended our arms here. I'm gonna show the arms first. This part's kinda, I think this is the hard, the faster part of the dance, not the hardest, the fastest. So, you're over here, your arms are gonna go one and two. So basically, you're doing one, and then on end, you already have a full circle completed. And then you end on two. So you're basically drawing two circles. So you're gonna go one and two, but then to come back, you're gonna go three, four. So on to the right side, it's double speed, and then this one's normal speed on here. So not too bad, hopefully. I think this part took me a while to like figure out. But yeah, those are the hands. If we add in the hips. As you're doing this, you're gonna be going one and two. So when you hit on two, you're gonna sit on your right hip over here. And then three, you're gonna reset and then four, sit on your left hip. So it's just one and two, three, four. So after one and two, three, four, on five, your arms are gonna shoot out to the 
right and at the same time I'm just going to do a tiny step to the right. So in this case your right arm's fully straight and your left arm is just half bent on your face. So in six you jump and you land on your left foot and you lift up your right foot up. Now on seven you're gonna step down and bring this hand down in front of you still facing towards the right so as we did this we turn to face towards the right we on seven and then on eight i think the move is either since it they do the same move but the dancer changed the move twice so we get it's either this here with this arm at the back or it's like this here I think I'll do both since it doesn't look too bad. Since you do seven and then eight, you jump onto your right foot with your left leg up and you bring this hand back to your forehead. So all together those jumps are just five, you step out a bit and then six, you jump with your hand, with your left hand, no, right hand by your hip, left hand behind you, seven. You drop this hand to stay behind you. I don't think you move the left hand. You for seven and then on eight, you swing around yourself. Yeah, I think it should be straight. Yeah, eight, you swing around here. So that on one, we're gonna go to the next move here. Yeah, that is the tiny intro. So let's go through that eight count real quick. So it's time from here and then I'll go through everything before doing the verse. So, so if you remember you said that the, this part confuses me every time. So you go one and two. So it's pretty fast circles. So five, six, seven, eight, one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And I don't think this arm needs to be that straight. Maybe it does, or she's just not being as clean there. I think it's just shooting out since after you bring this arm down to like do stuff. Yeah, right, let's start from the beginning. All right. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's move on to the verse of the song. All right, now we are on to the second verse. On here, this one's more chill than the intro, but still pretty fast. Mostly lip syncing, so if you know the lyrics, you're good to like just engage with the audience. But yeah, we finished the intro here with H like this, and for the first verse, let me show the hands first. Your hands are gonna go one two three four so they just come around and then they twirl you can do yeah come around and then they twirl as you pose them here so it'll be one two and then on three they start twirling and then four you place them down here now if we add and the twirl is like inwards this way I think she only twirls this arm, but then I like doing both. So I think it's just one arm twirling to be placed. You can also do both. But whichever one you can do, whichever twirl you can do, I don't think it matters too, too much. I think that's just how she places her hand on head. Yeah. But yeah, let's add the legs. So we're here on eight. 
on one, two, three, we're going to start walking towards the left side here. So we're going one, two, and then three. And the walk is like tiny steps. So just stepping backwards. And yeah, you're stepping backwards facing the right side. Do like right 45 so that you're not completely this way here. But yeah. Here for one, two, and then by three, you should stop so that you can prepare for the four. So it's gonna go three, four. You're gonna kind of, hands in place, you're gonna kind of go on your tippy toes and lean forward. Actually, this looks more like I'm pushing my butt out, out and up. So that'll be one, two, and then three, four. Now let me finish this off. I'll show both the hands and the legs. So for the next eight count, you'll be going five, six, seven, eight. Basically, what we just did, we're over here on three, four. On five, six, we're just gonna put our arms. I am tired. We're gonna put, it's about, I'm a morning person, not an evening person. It's like seven and I'm already feeling sleepy. But yeah. uh, anyways, we're gonna have our arms here by five, six, seven. They just stay here and then on eight, you're gonna push down with your arms. And at the same time, you're now stepping the other way. So you're gonna go three, four, you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna repeat the same thing we just did, but now you're facing this way instead of the first way here. So it's pretty much first verse you just walk, pose, and then walk, pose, if you think of it that way. So yeah, let's try that eight count and then move on here. So I'm just I'm gonna freeze frame here. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight I think for the second one you can does it matter here you're kind of 45 degrees but then for the second one you can be pretty much almost 90 degrees I think I'm 90 pretty much I'm like parallel to the side which kind of makes this look cuter it's like you're reaching up a ledge here I'm like it being this way but yeah, let's move on. So we just did five, six, seven, eight. On one, two, you're gonna shoot your right arm forward. And at the same time, you're just gonna do like a left, right step so that you can get into this pose where your right leg is out. I don't know if we're pointed toe or not, but girl group songs everything's gonna be pointed to you straighten out your back on here if you lift your leg it's pointed but this one don't worry too much about it there's a different tutorial well you will have to worry about that a lot coming like later on but yeah you just do on one two you jump to kick out or step out with your right leg and at the same time you stretch your right arm forward with your finger pointed out and then your left arm is kind of stretched it's not like fully stretched she keeps it close to her not like super close but kind of close here so it's gonna be on one two and then on three four you're gonna repeat the same thing but just mirror it. So you're gonna step onto your right foot so you can kick out your left foot and then switch the hands. Where now, left forward, right this way. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Okay, so after you do one, two, three, four, on five, you're gonna jump to the right side, but when you land, you can kind of land with your left hip already being pushed out. Yeah, for five, six. Reference will be just five, 
five, six, seven, eight. Since your hands stay here and your hips just going left, right, left, right. The jump is kind of weird since you were over here. You'd expect to just go to the right side. But no, she jumps and then as she lands, she goes to the left side. So with counts would be one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So the hips are moving right, left, no, left, right, left, right. And then your arms can sway a little bit here. They don't have to stay like fixed onto the middle of your chest. They can sway a bit. Yeah, let's try that eight count. Be five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and now for the next two eight counts, I'm gonna show the legs first so that I can do the hands after. Yeah, you're just gonna be stepping right, left, right, left, and then left, right, left, right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I forgot what tutorial I taught that all the steps had you pushing your butt out as you stepped out this way instead of just stepping like this you're stepping as you lean forward and push your hip and butt outside but yeah those, that's what the legs are doing pretty much what the hands are doing on one two three four just ended here five six seven eight you're gonna go one two three four so the left arm is just behind you with the palm facing down and then your right arm is just doing like it's tapping your face each count do one two three four so do one two three four and then when you come back your hands spin around here four you go and five two three four and then five six seven eight so you here four you're gonna go and five six seven eight and your arms are just gonna stay here calling someone so if i put those together you're just doing one two three four and five six seven eight it's kind of fast but hopefully not too fast so at least the walking is just nice and chill just doing this yeah yeah let's do it one more time and then i'll move on so five six seven eight one two three four and five six seven eight all right let's move on to the next verse one foot yeah we're gonna be finishing by now all right for the next count what you're gonna be doing you just finish five six seven eight you're gonna go and one two so basically your five six seven eight you're gonna do like an and one the way i do this you can either just do and one and step out with your right le no left leg i kind of like doing right left here and then you point forward spot i think this is one of the parts i found from the other video since she cuts off everything else go and see a full full part so after you do one two on three you gotta jump apart not too far apart since we're gonna have to stand back up again but it's just so that we can kind of bend down and look down and our hands are just going like this for three four and so you're gonna be three four and uh, the end you're gonna come up to prep for the next move i think this is one of the parts where both covers do it differently since the billy billy girl 
if I could read Chinese, I would know her name. I don't know any of the names. But yeah, she comes up later on the... There's a part in the song where he goes, Ba, Kari. And then there's a head movement. She comes up there. And then the YouTube link I have, she comes up a bit before. So we're going to be coming up a bit before. So we're here on three, four, and... And I come up and you're going to have both hands pointing to your head. And then that part I just said the ba kari. Once you learn the song, it goes on there. But the counts would be five, six, and. So it goes five and then six. Five, tilt your head to the left side, six to the right, and then on and you tilt it back. So it'll be five, six, and. and then All right, so after you do the five, six, and. Seven, eight, you can just have your hands near your head since you're gonna need them for the next move where you'll be drawing hot. So don't drop them yet. Just, you can even keep them by your head actually. So then back, carry, and then continue off there. Oh yeah. So let's review that eighth count and then move on. So five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight. And then on six and you don't need to keep your head here, but then you don't need to move it back yet. So you can just be back and then continue on here and reset on one. Well, yeah. Next count is pretty simple. What we're gonna be going, I'm gonna show the count. You're gonna be going one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So simple, you're gonna start stepping on your right, you're gonna go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. And your arms, what you're gonna be doing for one, two, three, four, you're gonna be drawing a heart, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four. You don't get time to complete the heart, so you're gonna be here, three, four, since you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. And I think there's a prep for you for seven, eight, and then. And she goes back into walking again. So not too bad. Let's just heart and then consume the heart into your own heart. All right, let's try that one more time. So just this. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna start from eight. Yeah. Yeah, seven, eight. There's a prep she does on and that I always forget. You may even see me not do it. I may just bring her hand down here. But she does a seven, eight, and, and then on one, you do the stepping thing we did before. So your hands this time are just gonna be by your side, but the steps don't change from when we were doing this here. It's just now this hand's now here. Uh, well, it'll be going one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna repeat this move, be five, six. I'm gonna repeat five, six, and then we're gonna seven, eight. I think seven, eight. So five, six is the same. You just here moving your hip left, right. But then you switch your hands here and you celebrate. Yeah. She so just looks cute. I don't know if I'm looking cute if I'm not cosplay since the cosplay does like 90% of the work <laughs> yeah you're just pretty much going five six and then seven eight you're like hitting them on here and then it's gonna lead to another move here all right let's do that eight counts we're gonna start from the walk in here we one two three four and then five six seven eight so Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now let's finish off this part. I think this is the la second last eight count. What you're gonna be doing, we just use five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. So basically, your arms are gonna spin out, point, so they spin clockwise and then you point out, then you reverse them and you point the other way. 
So we one, two, three, four. Now at the same time, your legs are gonna be going with so you, when you point on two, you're gonna step with your cross your left leg over your right here for one, two, and then on three you can step back. So at four you can cross your right leg over. So you do one, two, three, four. And you can look to where you're pointing if that helps here. And I don't think she's looking at the front since that feels that feels weird looking at the front. As we point you can look to where you point. But yeah, so we do one, two, three, four. So we just did one, two, three, four. On five, six, your hands are gonna twirl. So the steps continue. You're gonna have to go left, right, and cross your left leg over. But your hand, this time, it's gonna go from being pointed. Your left hand is gonna come in front of you and just stay flat facing up. And your right arm is going to go five, six. So as you step, it'll be five, six. Here she adds something really quick. She goes five, six, and, and then she continues on to this next move, where it's just seven, eight. You flick twice with your finger. Yeah. And this time you don't have to step like this. You don't have to step across. You just have to step out. You go seven, eight and you kind of lean into it in here all together it will look like this so it'll be one and two three and four five and six and seven eight okay let's try that one more time if i'm not going too too fast here you always have the practice version or you can just slow me down here if it's pretty fast yeah, let's try that one more time. So five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six and seven, eight. Here you can do one hand, two hands, as long as you flick out, shouldn't be too bad. I think she does one finger here. Right, we do five, six, seven, eight. Let's finish this off. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. So you're gonna you already here, you're gonna go one, two, and then three, four, grab down. And then to finish off, we go five, and then we do the six, seven, eight again. And then we'll be at the chorus or the end of the part, since it's only a minute, 30 seconds, like the opening. Hopefully it's the opening. I don't know if it's the opening or the ending, but yeah. And that'll be the end of this part. Congrats, so let's repeat here and then I'll count through the whole thing it counts and then I think I'll combine the beginning with this and the practice so the practice will be like two parts instead of three on there yeah let's do this so we just did five six and seven eight. so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right now let's start from the beginning till there and be starting from over here so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and one two and three four five six seven eight one two three four and five six seven eight and one two three four and five six and seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four and five six seven eight one two three four five six and seven eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah for i'm a here for this part you can bring your hands up and then when you bring them down you can step together if you want doesn't matter too much but yeah it's the verse now you can go check out the practice but if you're ready to go let's finish up the song and go to the chorus of the this part 
All right, now we're on to the last part of the song. Shouldn't be too long, I think. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of moves. And the end, we already know most of it. But yeah, so we just finished with five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show the arms first. The arms are gonna go one, two, three, four. So basically you shoot out to the right side and then to the left and then you spin around and you take your arm to the front. That's why it's one, two and then use one count to spin and you bring your arm up and forth. If we add the legs, you're gonna be going, I think this is a push in motion, yeah. I think it, yeah, it should be pushing on right here. So you're gonna be going on one, you're gonna jump towards the, yeah. You're gonna jump towards the, looking towards the left side, here for one, and then two, you're gonna switch which way you're looking, and then three, you're gonna jump back to facing the left side. So we did one, and you're facing the left, two, you're facing the right, three, you're kind of facing the left still, your foot, like 45 degrees as per usual, you know, three, and then on four, you're gonna jump and you're gonna pick up your right foot as you bring this arm forward. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. I think that's the actual tempo. So yeah, not too bad, it'll be one, two, three, four. Now on five, six, you're gonna drop and then your know, fingers are gonna be pointed up and they're gonna be spinning in a circle going inwards. It's like you're just like, I know, go men, you just, it's whatever this mood is, whatever this is on here, and your head's gonna be down <laughs> here, so you're gonna be like this, so. You'll be slightly bent with your knees pointed in here yeah, for five, six, and then seven, eight, you just do a tiny run. So the five, six, seven, eight is not too bad. You just go five, six, and then seven, eight. You're doing like a tiny run here. You're just running a bit forward. Or even you don't need to move as much. Yeah, let's go over that eight count and then move on. So we have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. Now from here, what you're gonna be doing? You hear seven, eight. Your hands are gonna go one, two, three, four. So basically, they're spinning. Then you do the OK symbol, and then you spin again. Do it okay. And then each time you try to be like by your eye here, this way and then this way. I don't think you need to keep it by your eye, you just need to keep it around this and trying to keep both as you're doing the parts here. At least when you land it, it should be, should be looking through it here. So those hand moves are on one, two, three, four. Now if you add the legs, what your legs are gonna be doing, just did seven, eight, you're gonna step right, left, and then left, right. So basically step, step out with your heel, with your left leg, and then you step left, step out with your heel on the right leg. Be one, two, three, four. You can push out your hip if you want. Yeah, one, two, three, four. You're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Basically, we're here three, four. On five, you're gonna bring, since right now our hip's more on our left leg, we're gonna switch it to our right leg. At the same time, cross our hands. You're on five, and then on six, your hands are gonna go from being okay to being half hot here for six. And then seven, you're gonna lean forward. Try to make sure you're kinda 
at least shoulder like a bit more for that I think for this part is now yeah make sure your legs at least shoulder length so here seven you're gonna lean forward as you make the heart and then eight you just lean back so not too bad you just here go five six seven eight all right and what else that's that count so let's do that whole count so seven from here all the way to the end and then we'll move on okay so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay now from here what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be like i'm sure the legs your legs are just step in you step right left left no left right right left left right right left it's like yeah kick in actually that's a better way to explain you don't need to step with you like it's like on one you jump onto your left so that you can kick forward to cross over with your right leg and then two three four five six seven eight so that's what your legs are doing this whole eight count at the same time we just finished seven eight your arm this arm's gonna drop behind you and then this other arm's gonna follow your leg so whichever leg is kicking your arm's gonna go that way so it's gonna go one two three four so one two three four and then on end it's gonna come behind you and for five six seven eight instead of following it's just gonna come straight forward so not too bad it's just it kicks for a bit and then comes straight here so let's try that eight count so five six seven eight one two three four and five six seven eight. and by like five six or seven is usually already over here uh, doesn't need to be lasting the whole four count to come down it can come down pretty fast so after you do this whole thing here and i think five six seven eight yeah we're over here what you're gonna be doing we're gonna be stepping one two and then three four so basically the steps are just tiny steps to the right first and then the left and we're doing the same backward stepping we were doing from the intro or the beginning of the verse there and at the same time our hands just go in one two and then ends up around here ish and then stays there for three four so one two three four and then i'm gonna finish this up the hands are gonna combine and you may you want to step out on five which initiates this motion we'll go five six seven eight as you turn towards the side try not to turn as much as me since i'm running out of room to turn like one two it's like to the right side bit forward bit forward to the left side and you're gonna hear in the sound like dun de dun de dun de you care or something like that and that's where you'll be hearing those moves so let's repeat that eight count you're just going five six seven eight one two three four and five six seven eight all right and to get out of this you're gonna step one you step over here and then on two that's when you're gonna turn two three four so it'll be one is gonna be a pause before you turn for two three four so after you do one two three four on five you're gonna kind of jump and we're facing 45 to the left on here so down on the left 
and this is going to be mostly your hands but your body is going to be involved a bit so five you're going to reach out both your hands palms facing up and go five and then six spin them around seven do the hot thing and then at the same time you're going to kind of lean forward so you're going to go seven and then eight you're going to place your hands by your side kind of same way we've been doing if we have our fists loose fists open forward so that's five six seven eight and then on one you're just gonna jump out to be one two here so we'll stop on one and then the rest of this is something we learned in the intro so i can speed through that but yeah uh what did we just do? Yeah, so let's see. After that, dun 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 dun. If you know the song. But after five, six, seven, eight, and then we do the jump. So we're gonna start from there. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One. All right, and from here, it's gonna go one, two, and then three, four. You're gonna jump to be face apart and then put your hands by your hips and then we're gonna do this part we learned from the end of the intro section so everything's gonna be the same until it's just gonna be an extra part at the end so I'll review that if you don't know it you can go back to that part and learn just that and then come back so like starting from here and then the whole this here but yeah so i'll just review that part after so we did one two three four five six seven eight one and two three four five six seven eight so that whole part's the same and then here on one instead of Continuing you're gonna jump now step backwards. So you're on eight One you'll step backwards and then your arms are gonna go one two three four five six seven eight That one two three four. It's a pretty long process of you just Milking this so you did like eight and you said one two three four five six seven eight one two three four i think around here is when she looks forward and then she just tilts her head i've been i've been like winking on here so you can do whatever when you feel like you've looked at your arm enough times then you can look forward since there isn't really any count here like you can do this grab and then look for the right away or you can spend your time here and then just keep looking here but yeah and with that that will be the end of the song here so do check out the practice version if you want the full thing with music all that yeah but for now let's do that last part again so i'll start from here again and then we can finish up the video so five six seven eight so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one and two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and that has been catch you catch me from card chapter sakura for you all enjoyed and had fun with it next tutorial i'm gonna do is from guntobu no katachi or quintessential quintuplets so be another short one nice opening i still need to figure out how to do it with one person since it's uh the video i'll be following will have all five sisters 
on there doing the dance but well, we'll see. It should be nice and fun, so do look forward to that. And yeah, also, I don't know who watches this, but the Chica tutorial is just gone. Sony Japan took everything down from all the other channels, so that one be a legend that is gone. If there's a place that you want me to upload it, you can let me know in the comments and I'll just throw it on there. But probably can't throw it back on here since even the, the music that was used is no longer there. But yeah, that was a fun tutorial. First tutorial made a lot of mistakes, but really fun. Now, now we're here. Now, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you liked, do feel feel free to check out the other videos. You can request songs in the tutorial. In the comments or I usually have a poll that some people have used on there it's easier for me to like grab and organize them I do try and do everyone tutorials there it just takes me a while one one person learning the song then doing it and still doing other songs on the side but if you're patient your tutorial may come like after a few months like I know some people requested last year no way, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> but, but yeah, you guys go get some rest. I'm also go and chill. And until next time, stay safe and do come back and dance with me again. It was nice having all of you. And I will see you later. Bye bye. See ya.